Hi everybody, thank you for clicking on this video. Welcome to my channel, I'm Cassie, and my baby is Delaney, and she's not with me at the moment. But for today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my favorite baby products and baby essentials. I'm going to try to go by like sleep, medicine, you know, categories so it doesn't jump all over the place because I'm a little scatterbrained. So let's just get on into it. The first baby item that I have is this my baby sleep machine and it's just a white noise machine it plays about five different sounds there's a timer on it or you can just have it play all night there's a project screen so that you can see it on the ceiling and i will insert a clip of that because it does play like a few different pictures instead of just a solid one like the owl just plays i think it's stars and moons but this one does change so it's pretty nice your baby can just watch it and fall right asleep the second sleeping product that I really love are these Huggies overnight diapers. If you can see them. Um, the only downside is they only start at size three, so you're gonna have to wait until your baby gets into a size three. But luckily, my baby's extremely chubby, so she's already in a four. She's about seven months, so these are super nice. I've never had a leak with them. I put them on her at about seven o'clock at night, and we don't get up until five or six the next day, and there's no leaks, so. These are amazing. I have not tried any other brands, so if you have another brand that you like more, please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to try it. Um, the next thing, let me just grab it. Sorry about that. Baby monitor. These are so helpful. I didn't have one right away, and I really wish that I did because it makes life so much easier. So in my room, my bed's over here, and her crib's all the way over here. And in the middle of the night, sometimes I think she's waking up. So I go over there and she's still sleeping. And then I wake her up by going over there. So even if you sleep with your baby in the same room, it is sometimes nice to have a monitor so you can see if they're actually awake or if like they pull something by their face. <clears throat> I know you're not supposed to let them sleep with anything, but I do let her sleep with a small blanket. Um, so I love having that by my bed just to check on her throughout the night. Um, the next sleeping product that I have is a Zen sleep sack. And what this is, is just a sleep sack, but it has this little weighted owl thing on it. And it's supposed to just, you know, mimic a hand on their chest so that they feel like you're touching them a little bit. This was super nice when she was around two to three months old where they get out of that sleep all the time baby mode. So I highly recommend this. They're a little pricey, but honestly, I see these all the time on Marketplace. So if you're not like grossed out about using somebody else's, definitely check there. The next sleep must have is actually just a cool mist humidifier. I don't want to pick it up because it's actually running right now over there. But just like, I think it's the Safety First from Target or Walmart. Those are super, super nice, super easy to use, and they have fun colors for your baby's room. And then the other item that I have that I also don't have physically right now is the baby mobile and it's just strapped to the crib. I will insert a picture of it somewhere on the screen. Uh, those are really nice too because your baby can also just watch that while they're trying to go to bed. So I got that at Target. Now let's go into medicine type stuff. The first thing that I have is this Little Remedies Saline Mist Spray. They also have one that you just squeeze. This one, you just go like that right up their nose. These are amazing when your baby's congested, and I feel like until you get the hang of trying to put something up your baby's nose, this one is super easy to use. And then along with that, I also have the Nose Frida. It's also not with me though, but I will insert a picture. What it is is you just put it in your baby's nose. There's like a long end, and you put that in the baby's nose, and then there's a little tube, and you take the other end and you suck it, and all the boogers come out but there is a filter so none of it gets in your mouth i know i was so disgusted to use it at first but you know you do anything for your baby even if it were to get in your mouth you'd probably still do it but it does not get in your mouth so the next thing is probiotics these ones are cultural probiotics they it's the grow and thrive probiotic supplement with vitamin d these are super helpful for your baby um, i can link an article down below if you want to about benefits for this. These are homeopathic eardrops. So if your baby gets an ear infection and you're kind of waiting for it to clear up and they're kind of fussing because it still hurts like a day or two after they get their antibiotics, these are just 
super easy. They numb the ear. You put three to four drops in each ear four times daily. And yeah, you, you love them. Those, I'm trying to think. I think you can only get those online or at like a homeopathic store. I don't think you can get those at Target or Walmart or Walgreens, but I could be wrong. I just have not seen them. This is gas drops. This is a myosillin. And these were super, super helpful for when she was around three weeks old. She was super, super gassy trying to digest her bottles and learn how to, you know, how her digestive system rolls. These are the Mycelin Gas Drops, and I really love these when she was having stomach problems when she was very little. These were so helpful and relieving to her, and they're really safe. You can give it to them like 12 times a day. So... These you can get pretty much anywhere, Walmart, Target, Walgreens, you choose. And the last thing are these gas, I think they're, what are they? What's the fuss free to baby Wendy? The gas passer. Basically self-explanatory, kind of gross, but you shove this up there, you know, and it helps them poop or pass gas. So... These are also really nice along with gas drops so that your baby can get a relief on their tummy. Okay, super quick, let's go through all three of my favorite car seat covers. So first one is going to be when it's not that hot out, but it's not cold out either. Er, did I say that right? It's not hot and it's not cold. So just, this is Velcro, you can see it, and it kind of just lays over your car seat like this. I like to use these in the spring. Then I also have one for when it is really cold out and it's the cozy cover. And it's like that on the inside. And these are really, really warm. So make sure it is pretty cold out when you use these or your baby will overheat. I've used these when it wasn't that cold and I pull my baby out and she's just sweating and I feel so bad, but these are awesome. Walmart was like, I think it was $15. I'm not sure, I can put the price below, but those are awesome. And then these, you just put it right over your car seat like that. These are awesome for summer if it's raining. And then you can also wear these and breastfeed at the same time. So I love that. And yeah, those are my favorite. I got this on Amazon. The next thing is going to be this bottle warmer. This is safety first, or no, not safety first. I'm sorry, the first years. And you basically, it comes with this little thing. There's minutes, you put, you fill it up to two minutes, dump it in put your bottle in and it warms it up. These are super cheap and if you're lazy like me, I don't like running all the way upstairs or downstairs if my baby needs a bottle. I keep infant water wherever one of these are and I have about three of these. These are only like $14, if that, 12 maybe. So I just have infant water, some empty bottles and formula so I can just make it wherever I'm at because I'm that lazy in the middle of the night. But these work really well. They work just like the more expensive ones that I've tried, so I guess if you're cheap like me, this is a very good option. And then the next thing that I'm going to talk about is the Diaper Genie. That's awesome for holding smell in. I've tried just a normal garbage can, and my room will reek at the end of the day if I keep them in there. So the Diaper Genie actually keeps the smell in. The only downside is you have to buy the little bags that go in, and they are kind of expensive. They're like $9 for... A roll but it lasts a while so I think it's worth the money the next item is some just baby toys which are like that and that these are super good for when they're really little and their eyes are developing their brains developing they have just simple pictures that the little newborns are able to see these are super great you can buy a pack of these and honestly I think the doctor gave me this so these are super nice to get your baby's eyes and brain going. And then I just recommend a baby play mat, any type of baby play mat. So when they're laying there, they can look at something, they can practice reaching at stuff. And yeah, it's pretty boring to lay on the floor, so may as well give them something to look at, huh? The last thing is pretty self-explanatory, but just lots of baby blankets. Soft, thin, thick, all of it. I go through baby blankets like crazy because if they spit up, they puke, you know, they get dirty quick, so it's nice to have a lot so you can just wash them and rotate them. And yeah, thank you so much for making it through this video if you did.
give it a thumbs up if it helped. If you liked it, please subscribe and leave some comments down below of what some of your favorite baby products are. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you.